What is up guys, today is January 2nd, 2015. Well, it's kind of weird to say. <laughs> um, today I've got 4004 test 24 for you guys. I know I just made test 23 about a day ago, but I finally got the new device that I promised you guys was going to be in test 23 going. So, um, that was not in the last test, but it'll be in this test. So, before I go over it and show you guys what it is, I'm going to be going, I'm going to go ahead and review the, the, the devices from test 23. I've got one of my Wheelock WMT-24 strobes. Got a Simplex 2098-9806 key test station, which I just put on. The alarm LED is tied into the 4004's auxiliary relay, which is also tied into the LEDs on the enunciator panel. The test switch is wired into zone 1 along with the RSG RMS-1T, and the 4251-20 is tied into zone 2 on the 4004. This is the new device I got. You guys are probably going to be wondering what the heck is this thing? To answer your question, this is a Wheelock 712-24 mechanical chime. And um, I found this thing through doing some research uh, on the Fire Panel Wiki, which is basically a site made by the Fire Panel, the same guy, same guys at the Fire Panel forums, and it basically tells you the like history on on all kinds of companies and devices and stuff. And um, I found this thing on eBay, and my mom said I could buy it for Christmas. And it was uh, 30 bucks. This came out of a telephone answering office. Um, and it was obviously never intended for a firearm service. This is in the gray version, which means that it's made for like general signaling. They also did make this chime in a red version. In addition to the 712, they also made the 711 series, which was 6 volts AC. This version is 24 volts DC. Um, <clears throat> so, um... This was actually, since this was never made for fire alarm service, it actually took me a while to get this thing going with the fire alarm system. Um, I, I had to add two diodes to it. The first one was just to polarize it, um, because obviously when it was installed in the telephone office, and probably like ringing for telephones, it did not have to be polarized, but for fire alarm service it does, because that's how the NAC supervision works on the panels. Um, the other diode that I had to add to it was... Um, to suppress the EMF. Supposedly these things put out EMF um, and basically that can damage a, a panel um, and a fire alarm technician on the fire panel forums told me I'm, I would have to add a second diode to it, a, a put it across the coil that would suppress the EMF to the panel to not like damage it. So th that's what I did. It's got two diodes on it uh, before. Um, the first time I, I tested it without the uh, the the EMF suppression diode, the indicators on the 4004 were, were spazzing out. But um, after I, I put that diode on, I could tell that it was working because the, the indicator stopped spazzing out. That problem got fixed. Um, this particular one was, uh, this particular unit was made in 1983. It's There's a date code on the inside. I believe I'm uh, one out of uh, three people on YouTube to, to own the 712-24 chime. I think that the SDX owns one. He he owns the rebranded version of this chime, and, and then like New Age Server Alarm also owns this chime. He told me, um, and then I believe I'm the only one on uh, on on YouTube to have the gray version of this, which is made for for like general signaling. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a really cool device. It, it puts out a really um, somewhat quiet, pl uh, pleasant sound. So. Um, yeah, the uh, 4004 is code is slow march time, so we're gonna be going. We're gonna go ahead and test the key station today, and uh, like when it's going off, I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what's going on in the inside. This is a really, really cool device, how it, it works and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my uh, test station key here, and we're gonna go ahead and activate the 9806. I'm switch hands here, and uh, hopefully. I can do this easily with one hand. So here we go. Again, the system's on slow march time, so I thought that'd be an appropriate coding for this alarm. So here we go.
show you guys what's going on inside here. Nineteen eighty three. Very cool device. Let's go ahead and silence here. Yeah, so like as I just said, very cool, very quiet, pleasant sounding device. Go ahead and show you guys the inside of the cover here. It's just just a very simple device. It's just got a coil, the plunger thing, which like pushes up on the this is the actual chime here, this bar here. See uh that's the actual chime there. There's the date code there, 83, and then here's the number on top. So, you guys can't see it because the camera's not focusing, so let's go ahead and put this on. And uh, very quickly, I'll go ahead and reactivate zone two while I put this thing back together. I'm not gonna tighten those all the way. That one's tight, but I'm not gonna tighten the other tighten the other one too much. Okay. Let's go ahead and silence. Yeah, very cool device. Very happy to own one of these. It's pretty rare. Oh, let's go ahead and reset that. Shut that up. Reset. So yeah, this is a very cool device. Very rare. Very hard to find. Um. If you guys can find one of these, I do suggest buying one, except just beware, beware. If you uh, do buy the gray one, you're, you, you, you'll you have to go to, to Radio Shack and buy two diodes for it to polarize it and to, to suppress the EMF if you plan to use it on a, on a commercial fire alarm panel. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, for today, that'll be it.